This code sample includes a controller. Its name is sample form. The controller includes one action. Its name is index, which means that we can either refer to the action index in the sample form controller or avoid specifying index. It would be the same as index is the default action when we don't specify an action. Now, the controller, as you can see, loads uh, two helpers, form and URL. And here it loads the form validation class for validating the data the user enters, the data uh, the controller receives with uh, the request. Here we specify the validation rules and here we check whether the validation succeeded or not. If not, then the ex execution is forward to the login form view that first uh, prints out the validation errors and then creates the form and if the validation succeeds then the execution is forward to the success msg view as you can see both uh, views are php files within the form demo folder within views so let's see how does it work. So I enter the username and then specify the password and specify it again. As you can see, I chose in this code sample to create simple text fields, though I could create password fields. I just want it to be a better demonstration so I prefer the simple text field so we can see the exact data entered and here I specify the email address now when I press submit as you can see the request is sent to the very same uh, controller and action that's the meaning of uh, writing your sample form as you can see if we take a look at the source code, then action actually refers to sample form after, of course, the um, basic part that, that repeats. So let's see how does it work. I press submit and as you can see, I got the message saying the form was successfully submitted, which means that all uh, validation rules uh, passed successfully. So that's why the execution was forward to the success MSG view that shows a simple uh, link. Now let's give it another try and now let's uh, enter for example, different passwords. Now, if I press submit, as you can see, I got the message, the first password field does not match the second password field. Now, if we take a look at the validation rules, then over here, there is a validation rule for the first uh, password. It uh, must be uh, part of the a request we cannot avoid entering the password in fact each one of the fields is required and in addition take a look at this part it says that it also must match the second password uh, the word uh, trim is for uh, taking out redundant space in the beginning or the end of the data itself now uh, let's give it another try. Let's give a username. 
the same password and now let's uh, avoid entering the email address and as you can see I got uh, two error messages for uh, first the email address that was empty so we get a message saying the email address is required and we also see that the username we entered doesn't uh, pass this uh, validation check which means that its uh, minimum length is 5 maximum is 12 let's give it another try so I entered 5 now it is okay